Welcome to our channel. Today we will tell you about how main engine air starting system work. Air starting system comprises of an air bottle, pilot valve, turning air interlock, automatic air start valve, flame arrester, bursting disc, air distributor, and cylinder head starting air valve. Before proceeding to the video viewers, if you have not yet subscribed our YouTube channel, please subscribe and click on bell icon to get notifications on time. And viewers, I tell you in previous videos also that I divide video in different parts. That's why if you are not interested in explanation part, you can skip it and see procedure starting time in FN comment. Let's get started the video. Air Reservoir Air Reservoir is to act as a temporary storage to accommodate weak demand of compressed air. Air Starting Lever the air starting valve of a marine engine is responsible to start the engine from a standstill or stop position. Pilot valve The pilot air enables to compress air from the receiver to enter directly to the engine cylinders. Turning gear interlock It prevents the admission of starting air to the engine cylinder when the turning gear is engaged. Automatic start air valve Air pressure acting on the top will overcome the spring force which was holding the valve shut and open the valve leading to the high pressure air entering the combustion chamber and moving the piston down. Flame Arrester Its function is to allow flow but prevent the transmission of flame in the event an ignition tank place. Relief Valve A relief valve is used to control or limit the pressure in a system. Bursting Disc A rupture disc also known as a pressure safety disc protects a system from overpressurization. Air Distributor It is the part of starting air system responsible for providing pilot air to the starting and air wall as per the correct starting order. Cylinder Head Starting Air Wall The air start wall is fitted at the center of each cylinder head. Open the main air bottle wall to supply air to the main engine. When the wall is open, all the air passes through the pilot wall and acts on the top of automatic start wall providing a positive closing. The other branch supply air until the turning gear interlock which prevents the air to go further in the line. To start the main engine first, the turning gear need to be disengaged. When the turning gear disengaged, the pilot air passes through it and then wait at the automatic air start wall. Once you give air by moving the lever, the pilot wall is pulled down by linking mechanism. All the air which is on the top of automatic air start wall is vented. There is no more positive closing. The air passing through the interlock pushes the spring and opens the wall. Air is now available in the cylinder head starting air wall manifold and the distributor. The distributor consists of negative type camp or positive overlap. When the unit number 4 comes in the cam profile, the air compresses the spring and the wall is open to operate the same unit number 4 cylinder head starting air wall. As the cam shaft rotates, the unit number 4 line is vented and cylinder head starting air wall closed. Viewers, we hope that you understood everything. Well, please like this video to support us.